The Ohio Harness Horsemen's Association presents Freshman Focus. A look at two-year-olds in training across the Buckeye State. Freshman Focus is presented by Sugar Valley Farm. Looking for your next quality standard bred racehorse? Look no further than Sugar Valley Farm in Delaware, Ohio. And by Eldorado Sciota Downs. Now racing Tuesday through Saturday. First post time, 6.15. Now here's your host, OHHA brand ambassador, Roger Houston. Good evening racing fans and welcome to another edition of Freshman Focus. And tonight we're going to zero in on the next generation to be held at Eldorado Sciota Downs on July the 2nd and 3rd. With us is the Director of Racing here at Sciota Downs, Jason Roth. Jason, I understand a horseman came up with the idea of the next generation. Yeah, uh, two and a half years ago, Chad Fulton gave me a call um, during the winter and said, uh, you know, um, there were some races at the Red Mile that they were trying to get going and, and, and the Mohawk Million. And actually it's uh, basically copied off the Pegasus down in Gulfstream. So um, he pitched me the idea and said, you know, let's, uh, let's try it, you know. We're, we'll try anything at least once. And uh, it ended up working out. Now last year was the initial Next Generation. And um, how did last year's race fare? So when Chad uh, pitched the idea and, and um, we, we discussed the rules and everything, you know, we, we thought of even a $20,000 entry fee or nomination fee to it um, to purchase the spot. We, we came up with uh, 10,000, thought it was doable. We uh, used uh, the pace divisions last year just for, for a test run and they both ended up uh, filling and, and they were well received. This uh, speaks volumes with Charlie May winning last year's Next Generation. Yeah, Charlie May, um, he didn't have a spot going into the race. Uh, Don Tiger ended up purchasing a spot, uh, you know, three, four days before the race or before he had to enter and um, he ended up winning it. It was a great story. Did you make any changes from last year's conditions? We, we changed um, the qualifying. You, now it's a 45-day rule, just like every other uh, stake in Ohio. Mm -hmm. Last year it was um, our qualifying standards. You had to have a clean line, you know. Um, this year it's 45 days. That's really the only major change. Um, next year, you know, we're thinking, thinking about maybe backing up the nomination to maybe April 15th instead of March 15th. Just because all the owners are, you know, they're, they're paying a lot of money in March. Let's back it up a month and, and give, them a, give them a break there. With the original 36 slots and the ability to uh, sell your spot, uh, it's kind of an insurance policy for those. Yeah, you know, um, I think we've probably, there, there's probably been at least 10 spots traded this year or sold or, you know, I don't know the deals that the, the owners made, but I know um, probably around 10 spots have changed hands up to, till today. With the changing uh, the spots and such, uh, that will mean when you back it up from March to, what, to April, uh, may eliminate some of those uh, having to get rid of spots. It may, it may. Um, and so this year when we, we added the two divisions, the, the Colt Trotters and Philly Trotters, um, I was nervous about them filling. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and back to Chad, I, he, he's a great, um, he's a great supporter of, of this race. You know, he's like, what do you, uh, what do you, worry about you know filling I, I really wasn't worried about the paces um even at that time going up until two days till the nomination closed um i was i was worried about the phillies and ended up getting getting nine but he bought the last spot in the phillies and he doesn't even have a philly mm -hmm. he you know he said i'm i'll buy it and i'll sell it uh when it comes time to for the race to go and he's already gotten rid of his spot and you know um, that's a great supporter of the race. So an owner can sell his spot and put any conditions on that sale that he wants. Uh, I see I know of a spot that was sold for ten thousand dollars and they also want five percent of the purse if the horse wins the race. There's a bunch of deals 
being made on that, you know, and I don't get into the deals. I don't, I don't care what yeah. they could give the spot away. I, yeah. do, I don't care about that. Um, I just need to know who the owner is yeah. come, come draw time. What are the specific conditions for the next generation? Really, um, well, obviously it's for two-year-old Ohio sired. We, uh, we want to keep the race in state. Um, so uh, the owners purchased the spot May, March 15th this year for $10,000. Um, and really that's the only condition is two-year-old Ohio sired horse. Um, there's no condition on if an out-of-state owner buys it or anything like that. You know, if we, if we would have got 11 or 12 entries in it in March, we would have had a drawing on our opening night, which, is, uh, which was like May 9th this year. So, but we didn't have to do that. Um, but there's really no conditions. Um, be qualified in, in 45 days, so. Looking ahead to next year, do you have any changes planned? You know, I would love to make this race grow. Um, you know, I'd love to get sponsors in it. I would love, you know, there, there's a bunch of stuff we could do. We could, um, you know, we could sell spots at, at the sale, at the select sale or, or the Buckeye sale come, uh, up September um, there's there's a bunch of stuff that we could do we could tie it into a, a charity um, you know and we could have owners parties there there's a bunch of stuff that we could do to give back to Ohio and the owners that spend their money and um, and make this race what it is next generation speaks volume for the state of racing here in Ohio Charlie May Charlie, Charlie May, May helped that a lot you know yeah. Um, he was the first one, uh, and I always said that the unique thing about this race is, is it's the, their very first lifetime start. If we had this race in August, um, you don't, you would know who, who the three favorites are, you know. Here, there's nine owners going into every division, and they all think they have a shot to win. Um, that's, that's what makes this uh, race unique. You might not even be in with the state champion, you know, this weekend. So... Um, Charlie May happened to win the final. He was in the race, so uh, he made it a good story last year. Maybe we might change the next generation to the Charlie May next generation. <laughs> in a few years, it might be might, might be that. named uh, the Charlie May next generation. We'll see. Good luck to you on the event on Friday and Saturday, July 2nd and 3rd. May you have good weather and uh, everything goes smooth and some great racing. I'd like to thank uh, Jason Roth, the director of racing here at El Dorado Sado Downs for his time on this busy part of the week. Uh, after these messages, we'll turn and take a look at the four races in this year's Next Generation. Racing is back at El Dorado Scioto Downs. Catch the excitement all summer long. Live racing every Tuesday through Saturday nights. First post time is at 6.15. Mark your calendar to see the future stars with the $150,000 Next Generation on July 2nd and 3rd. On the 2nd, it's the two-year-old Trotters, followed by the Pacers on the 3rd. Horse players earn points with the new Caesars Reward Program. El Dorado Scioto Downs Live Racing is back. Welcome back to this edition of Freshman Focus as we take a look at the Next generation to be held this Friday and Saturday night at El Dorado Scioto Downs. The Trotters will go to the post on Friday and the Trot Pacers postward on Saturday night. First of all, let's take a look at the two-year-old Philly Trotters. And leaving from post one is Marty's Magic Moment, a two-year-old Philly by Creatin. The owners are Marty McLean, C.D. McLean, and H.L. Berger. The trainer is Danny Collins. We actually have two fillies, one's Aunt Nelly and one's Marty's Magic Moment. They were both looking very well and uh, Marty McLean uh, put the money up and said whichever one looks the best at the time, then we'll uh, take a shot. And you think Marty's Magic Moment's the best right now? Well, out of the two, the, she's definitely the fastest right now and she deserves the spot. She's trained uh, excellent uh, all year and uh, you know, she's just uh, got a lot of speed to her. Marty's Magic Moment qualified third in 202 and one. In the next qualifier, made a break, finished fifth, but trotted home in 57 and one. Final quarter, 28 and three. Leaving from post one, Marty's Magic Moment. Number two is Madeline, Madeline a two-year-old filly by What the Hill, owned by the Black Magic Racing Stable. 
This horse was featured on Freshman Focus with trainer Todd Luther. She's done everything uh, that she's been asked so far. Uh, she's uh, one of my second trainers, uh, Steve's favorite. Uh, she's training right with some pacers. Uh, I don't. We bought her out of uh, the Springfield sale, and uh, she's done everything right. And uh, she can be a handful in the barn and jogging, but uh, on the track she is all business. On the racetrack, a couple qualifiers, a winner last time out, 158 and three, Madam Madeline Lees from Post Two. Number three is of Tom. We'll leave for. Jason McGinnis, the trainer, Anthony McDonald, the driver. A two-year-old filly by Long Tom is owned by the stable of Tom Group in Canada. A winner at Scioto Downs in a maiden event in 158 one fifth. A long cheer of Tom out of the pocket is digging in into the passing lane. Rose Run Extra count the coin is flying. It's up Tom with the lead. Rose Run Extra to the inside count the coin still coming of Tom to win it. Of Tom will leave from post three. Leaving from post four is Be My Baby Now. Ron Burke, the trainer. Chris Page is scheduled to drive. A two-year-old filly by What the Hill. Pennsylvania ownership that goes to Burke Racing Stable and Weaver Bershemi. We have two Ohio owners, Knox Services and the Hatfield Stables. Be My Baby Now is undefeated in two qualifying events at the Meadows, the fastest 201 and 4 on June the 8th. Leaving from post 4, Be My Baby Now. Number 5 is Lovely Live. Scott Cox trains. Chris Lems is the driver. A two-year-old filly by What the Hill, owned by Peters, Parent Racing Stable, and Jason Ash of Delaware, Ohio. Lovely Live shows two qualifiers at Northfield. The best to second place finish last time out in 159-4 with a final quarter 29-2. Leaving from post five, Lovely Live. Number six is Favorite Ant. Marty Woolham trains. Dan Noble is scheduled to drive. A two-year-old filly by Uncle Peter and is owned by Marty Woolham, a Hall of Famer here in the Buckeye State. Favorite Ant shows a qualifying mile at Northfield, finishing second in 201-3 with a final quarter 29-1. Leaving from post six, Favorite Ant. Number seven will be Moments Created. The combination of Edward Miller, the trainer, and Kurt Sugg, the driver. A two-year-old filly by Creatin, owned by Rebecca Sugg and Watson Harness Racing. Moments Created shows a paramutual start at Northfield on June the 28th, a winning effort by two lengths in 158 and 2, a final quarter 28 and 3. Leaving from post 7, Moments Created. Number eight is Rikers Caviar. Chris Beaver is the trainer, Aaron Merriman the driver. Rikers Caviar was featured on Freshman Focus with Chris Beaver. Uh, I have a new owner this year. Actually, I went to the um, same college I did, a sm small college in Florida. And uh, he, uh, he bought a few on his own uh, online. He bought this one. Uh, I think off of Ongate. Mm -hmm. I believe he paid nine or ten thousand for. Her. Um, but she's been training great. She's probably I didn't pick her out myself, and she's probably the at this point the best gated triumphant caviar I've ever had. You know. Is that unusual early on? Uh, yeah, usually I have to put hobbles on them, and you know she she trains no hobbles, and she's then uh, just just easy right along and she didn't even come in till February mm -hmm. been as fast as any of them at this point. This two-year-old filly by Triumphant Caviar is owned by Lance and Larry Bayless. Chris Beaver also is a part owner. In two qualifiers, one at Delaware and one at Scioto, finished third at Delaware in 204 and then was second at Scioto Downs in 159 and 1 final quarter 29 and 1. 
leaving from post eight, Rikers Caviar. And the field on the outside, number nine, Lady Cameron. Virgil Morgan Jr. trains for Dan Noble, a two-year-old filly by What the Hill. Lady Cameron was featured with trainer Virgil Morgan on Freshman Focus. I can't say enough about her uh, so far. Uh, she's just all business, loves to do her work in a good way, and uh, um, I don't. I try to not get too high on them and get too low on them, but she's she's one right now that seems like she's pretty special. In the three qualifying events, a second place finish in 201 and 4, and then a third place finish at Scioto Downs, 159 and 4, with a final quarter, 29 and 2. And that wraps up the field of nine in the two year old Philly Trot Next Generation Friday night at Scioto Downs. Next up, our two year old Colt Trotters. Friday night as well at Scioto Downs for the next generation, a purse of $150,000. Leaving from the rail is the fastest two-year-old trotter in all of harness racing on a 5 8 mile track, Hustle Momics, a two-year-old colt by full count, was part of Freshman Focus with trainer Todd Luther. Hustle Momics is owned by the Black Magic Racing Stable of Blacklick, Ohio, undefeated in both qualifiers, 58 and 1, and then the last effort on June the 21st, 156 and 2, with a final quarter 28 and 2. Hustle Nomics outside, what the blazes digging in past seed lane, Gabby R. Gold. It's Hustle Nomics, son of full count to win it. From Caviar Gold in Owatha Blaze, 156 and 2. Leaving from post 2 will be Rose Run Extra. Ron Burke trains. Chris Page is the driver. A two year old Colt by Cash Hall, owned by Burke Racing Stable, the Hatfield Stables, Knox Services, and Jason Melillo. Rose Run Extra shows two qualifiers at the Meadows, a winner in 2-2-4, two, two, and, and then raced in a paramutual event at Scioto on June the 24th, finishing second in 158-1, final quarter 28-2. Leaving from post two, Rose Run Extra. Number three is Creatin Star. Virgil Morgan Jr. trains. Dan Nobles listed to drive. A two-year-old gelding by Creatin, owned by Carl Howard, Joyce McClellan, and Larry Wills, all of the Buckeye State. The horse shows two qualifying events, both times a winner. Two minutes and two-fifths, right back in the same identical time, two minutes and two-fifths. The end of the lane, coming home, it's all Creatine Star. Drawn away by Creatine out of my shooting star by 15. Leaving from post three, Creatine Star. The four is Breeze to Victory, coming in from the state of Illinois. Irv Miller is the trainer, the driver to be announced. A two-year-old gelding by What the Hill is owned by Irvin Miller, A. Willinger, and R.J. Wilt. Breeze to Victory was a winner at Pocono Downs in a qualifier, 2-0-3-1, final quarter, 29-4. Leaving from post four, Bridge to victory. Number five is Pat Burdell, a two-year-old colt by Wishing Stone, another horse featured on Freshman Focus with trainer Chris Beaver. Yeah, we bought a next generation slot for him mm -hmm. uh, back when they were selling him. And, you know, he really had a great winter training in Florida. Um, very natural horse. Um, struggled a little bit when we got up here and had to learn to go around the smaller turns. Mm -hmm. Um, but he's getting it now. I think he'll be ready. Aaron Merriman is scheduled to drive a winner in a qualifier at Scioto Downs in 159 and 4 with a final quarter 29 and 2. Paperdell will leave from post 5. Number 6 is striking count. Miles Woolham is the trainer, the driver to be announced. A two year old colt by full count. Zoned by Marty Woolham, Reno Woolham, B. Troyer, and Miles Woolham. 
The two-year-old Colt, by full count, shows a win in the qualifier at the Meadows of two minutes and three-fifths, a final panel 28 and four. From post six, striking count. Number seven is Voyage of Ice and Fire. Part of the stable Voyage of Ice and Fire, Jason McGinnis is the trainer, Anthony McDonald the driver, a two-year-old Colt, but Break the Bank K is uh, coming into the race off a qualifying win in two minutes and four-fifths at Northfield, then dropped into a paramutual event against Older, finished fifth in 159, final quarter, 29 and three. From post seven, Voyage of Ice and Fire. Number eight is Rose Run Extreme, a two-year-old gelding by Triumphant Caviar, Don Irvine Jr. is scheduled to drive for Rosie Weaver. Two lines available on Rose Run Extreme. Second and 201 at Northfield, and then a qualifier at Sio to get used to the track. Finished fourth in 158, final quarter, 29 and 1. From post eight, Rose Run Extreme. Number nine is Chulo. A two-year-old colt by Watt the Hill, the lessee is Buckstone Land Investments, livestock. Per Ingblom, the trainer, Dan Noble is scheduled to drive, a winner in his last qualifier in New Jersey by 16 and a half lengths in 159 and four, final quarter 28 and four. Chulo will leave from post nine. And that wraps up the field for our two-year-old Colton Gelding Trot Next Generation at Scioto Downs, Friday night, for a purse of $150,000. We'll be back to take a look at the two-year-old pacing Colts and Phillies after these brief messages. Looking for your next quality standard bred racehorse? Look no further than Sugar Valley Farm in Delaware, Ohio. Sugar Valley's lineup of stallions includes world champion Down by the Seaside, Lather Up, the fastest horse in harness racing history, Little Brown Jug champion, well said. And the newest stallions to the Sugar Valley lineup, Adios champion, Catch the Fire, and the son of Hambletonian champion, Muscle Hill, Marseille. Sugar Valley Farm, the home of champions. Welcome back on Freshman Focus. This is now we're going to take a look at the Pacers that will go to the post at Scioto Down Saturday night. Two-year-old Philly Pacers and two-year-old Colt Pacers, each for a purse of $150,000. In the two-year-old Philly Pace, leaving from the rail will be sleep with one eye open. Clarence Folk is a trainer, driver to be announced. A two-year-old Philly by Well Said is owned by the Folk Stables of Springfield and William Hart of Maine. Sleeping with one eye open raced in a matinee that we covered at Urbana. They have an eighth of a mile to pace. It is sleep with one eye open on the outside. Doobie Cruz to the inside. Oh, my L. Inside the final 16th. Coming to the line. Sleep with one eye open. In qualifying efforts, two at Scioto Downs. A winner on June the 14th in 156-2, final quarter, 27-3. Leaving from post one, sleep with one eye open. Number two is Lightning Leah. Matt Kakeli will drive for Travis Alexander. A two-year-old filly, but down by the seaside, owned by Fiddler's Creek Stables of West Bloomfield, Michigan. Shows two qualifiers at Pocono Downs, a winner in 157. Then on June the 21st, a winner in 154 and two with a final quarter 28 and three. From post two, Lightning Leah. Number three is Secret Side Piece, a two-year-old filly by Down by the Seaside, Black Magic Racing of Black Lick, Ohio, the owner, Todd Luther, the trainer, Secret side piece is scheduled to be driven by Trevor Smith. At Sauda Downs in a qualifier, a winner in 155 and 1, final quarter 27 and 1. Secret side piece. Greta T into the passing lane and sleep with one eye open to the wires. Secret side piece. Open it up to what it in 155 and 1. Leaving from post three, 
secret side piece. Number four is Prancing Queen. Scott Cox, the trainer, Chris Lem scheduled to drive. A two-year-old filly by Down by the Seaside is owned by Jason Ash, Parent Racing Stable, and Scott Cox. Prancing Queen shows two qualifiers, both at Northfield, a winner in 2-1-3, and, and then on June the 17th, 157-3, a winner with a final quarter, 28-1. Leaving from post four, Prancing Queen. Number five is C. Silk. Ron Burke sends this one to the starting gate for driver Chris Page. A two-year-old filly, but down by the seaside, owned by Burke Racing Stable, Weaver Bershemi, Knox Services, and the Hatfield Stables here in the Buckeye State. Two qualifiers at the Meadows, both winning efforts, both in the identical times of 158 and 3, final quarters 27 and 3, the latest final quarter 27 and 1. Leaving from post 5, C. Silk. Number six will be Dragon's Revenge. A two-year-old filly by Fear of the Dragon, Christy Noble the trainer, Dan Noble the driver. This horse was featured in our Freshman Focus with Dan Noble. I think she's one of the top fillies I got in the barn. Mm -hmm. uh, she's just done everything since day one like an aged horse. Uh, extremely fast and uh, I'm, I'm hoping to see sire sakes. Dragon's Revenge shows two qualifiers, both winning efforts, 155 and 2, 155 and 1 at Scioto Downs. Leaving from post 6, Dragon's Revenge. Number 7 is Fear the Beach. Lionel Wadiker, the trainer, Derek Wadiker will drive. A two year old filly by Fear the Dragon shows a couple qualifiers at Scioto. 5th and 57 and 1, and then 2nd in 156, final quarter 28 and 1. That was on June the 21st. Leaving from post 7, Fear the Beach. Number 8 is Fear Our Faith. A two year old filly by Fear the Dragon. John Ackley featured this one on Freshman Focus. We bought her at the uh, select sale at uh, Circleville. Mm -hmm. And uh, my son and a guy uh, by the name of uh, Lane Burnell bought her, and uh, they give 80 some hundred for her, and I think it uh, might be a super buy. Uh, we got her off of Midland Acres, and uh, it was in their consignment. And they, uh, Jay Mossbarger, come up to us and said, You may have got the best buy in the sale. I really like her. She's got a great effort. Got manners, good gait, and uh, I hope that she turns out for the guy because they're, one of them is a the first time owner, so. Tyler Smith is scheduled to drive Fear Our Faith. Also, new owner in the business, Lane Brummel, as he's looking forward to his filly racing after two qualifiers at Scioto, second in 55 and four, third in 56 and one. Leaving from post eight, fear our faith. Number nine is cruising by the seaside. A two-year-old filly, but down by the seaside, Virgin Morgan Jr., the trainer, Brett Miller, scheduled to drive. Another filly that was featured in Freshman Focus with Virgin Morgan Jr. Three qualifiers under the belt. Made a break in the initial qualifier, but then settled down with a win in 58 and 4, final quarter 28 and 3. Eighth of a mile to go, cruising by the seaside with the lead. In between horses, crosswind Pepper Jack, Catamaran on the outside, through the lane, cruising by the seaside, closing on the outside, Catamaran, cruising by the seaside. The last effort was second and 55 and 1 with a final quarter 28 and 1. Leaving from post 9, cruising by the seaside. And that wraps up her field of two year old Philly Pacers in the next generation for $150,000 at Scioto Downs Saturday night. Now we move on to the two year old Colt and Gelding Pace again for a purse of $150,000. 
Leaving from the rail will be Seaside Jet. Tim Lane is the trainer. Tyler Smith scheduled to drive a two-year-old gelding by Down by the Seaside, owned by William Belosky, Timothy Lane, and Ernie Malice. This gelding shows a couple qualifiers, one at Delaware, 58-4, and four, final panel 29, finishing second, and also a second-place finish at Scioto in a qualifier, 56-4, and four, final quarter 28-1. and one. Leaving from post one, Seaside Jet. Number two is JL's Cruise Control. A two-year-old gelding, but well said. Virgil Morgan Jr. is a trainer for Brett Miller, a recent purchase by Carl Howard, J. Robert Darrell, R. L. Weiner, and Larry Wills. This gelding shows a couple qualifiers, third in two minutes and two fifths, and then a winner in 55 and three with a final corner quarter in 28 seconds than the purchase by the Virgil Morgan Jr. stable specifically for the next generation. Leaving from post two, JL's Cruise Control. Number three is Sling Shock. A two-year-old colt, but down by the seaside, Mike Simoglio, W. Richardson, W. Salmeri, and R. Gilmartin are the owners. This one was featured in Freshman Focus with Dan Noble. Back-to-back -back qualifiers, both winning efforts, 55-4, and four, right back in 55-4, and four, final quarters, 27-3, and 27-4. and four. Into the stretch they come, Slingshock with the lead. Here comes Shane Falco, closing on the outside, racing third, type A personality at the wire. It's all Slingshock. Leaving from post three, Slingshock. Number four is Rise and Shine Seaside. Owned by the Hutchison Harness, two-year-old gelding, but down by the seaside, Brian Brown trains. Ronnie Wren Jr. is the driver. Brian Brown featured this one in Freshman Focus. Couple qualifiers, both at Delaware, a winner in 159, final quarter 27-4, and four. Rise and Shine Seaside now starting to open up on the lead. And the lead with Cotton Landslide second. Battles on for third. That's Sea Luck on the outside. The end of the stretch. Coming home. Stretching them out now. Rise and shine Seaside. And Lavlate third in 57 and 2. Final quarter 28 and 3. Leaving from post four, Rise and shine Seaside. Number five, The Mountain. Corey Day Ehrman is the trainer. Kurt Sugg scheduled to drive. A two-year-old colt by Fear of the Dragon. Owned by William Hart, Robert Mandello, and Corey Day Ehrman. Leaves from post five. Shows a couple qualifiers at Northfield. Second in 56 and 4. A winner by six in 58 and 2. Both times Kurt Sugg was in the sulky. Leaving from post five, the two, the mountain. Number six is well advertised. Black Magic Racing, the owner, two year old gelding, but well said. Todd Luther trains for and driver will be Trevor Smith. This is a recent purchase by Black Magic Racing, specifically for the next generation. Uh, a winner at Circleville under the new trainer, Todd Luther, and driver Trevor Smith in 205. Well advertised, leaves it by a neck on the outside. Fluff, yeah, between horses. Tree on the beach to the inside. Smoking gunslinger off the turn. They're on their way home. Well advertised, clinging to that lead. Smoking gunslinger on the outside. Come the line, well advertised. They purchased this one off of a qualifier, second in 157, final quarter. 57 and 2 at Scioto back on June the 7th. Leaving from post 6, well advertised. Number 7 is Springbridge Dragon. Another horse from the Ron Burke stable. Chris Page will drive. A two year old colt, by Fear of the Dragon. Owned by Burke Racing Stable, Weaver Bersemi, William Donovan, and Joe Sabraco of Ohio. The two-year-old Colt Befear the Dragon shows a couple qualifiers at the Meadows, fourth and 58-2, and, and then a winning effort by nine lengths, 
55 and 4. Final panel 27 and 2. That was on June the 15th. Leaving from post 7, Springbridge Dragon. Number 8 is Spread the Fear. Jamie Sullivan, the trainer. Tony Hall gets a call. A two year old gunning by Fear of the Dragon. Linda Chick of Harrington, Delaware, and Jamie Sullivan of Harrington, Delaware are the owners. A couple qualifiers, Harris, Philadelphia, fourth and 57 and three. Then a paramutual event in the Thompson Gear Stake, going for $30,000, had post five, finished third, 153 and one. Final quarter, listen to this one, 26 and four. Leaving from post eight, spread the fear. And number nine, Pearl Snaps. A two-year-old gelding by Fear of the Dragon. Steve Heimbecker is the owner from Canada. Blake McIntosh ships south to race this one, and he's bringing along his own driver, Aaron Byron. Pearl Snaps shows a couple of qualifiers at Woodbine, third in 159, and then a winning effort on June the 19th by two lengths, 154, final quarter, 29 seconds. Leaving from post nine is Pearl Snaps. So that wraps up the field of nine for the two-year-old Colt and Gelding Pace, again for $150,000 at El Dorado Scioto Downs this Saturday night. Well, that wraps up our two-year-old Colt and Gelding Pace and freshman focus for the next generation. Don't forget, we will be broadcasting live on the OHHA Facebook page Saturday night from Scioto Downs, covering the two-year-old Pacers with Frank Froz and Jay Wolf. We'd also like to thank for our sponsorship for freshman focus this year. Something new, and we hope that you enjoyed it. And we're ever indebted to Sugar Valley Farms and El Dorado Scioto Downs for making that possible. And during the many weeks that we traveled all over the Buckeye State, the caretakers and the trainers that adapted their schedule to fit our filming schedule as well. We appreciate their efforts in the past weeks. Jason Roth, Director of Racing out at Scioto Downs. Our entire Ohio Harness Horsemen's Association staff putting up with Frank and I uh, being out of the office so much and the, the help that they've given us in doing these broadcasts. We know that you, the viewers, have enjoyed the features that we've had from the many comments that we received, and we hope to again return next year with Freshman Focus 2022. Be there. This has been Freshman Focus, a look at two-year-olds in training across the Buckeye State. Freshman Focus is presented by Sugar Valley Farm. Looking for your next quality standard bred racehorse? Look no further than Sugar Valley Farm in Delaware, Ohio. And by El Dorado Scioto Downs, now racing Tuesday through Saturday. First post time, 6.15. Freshman Focus is a presentation of the Ohio Harness Horsemen's Association.